How's it going everybody? It's Brian with Buffalo Beer Reviews. Uh, luck was on my side today. I was downtown picking up my uh, race packet for the uh, half marathon tomorrow. Um, I was in the vicinity, stopped in at Big Ditch, and they were just putting out fresh batches as I was waiting uh, into the refrigerator of deep cut and dibble. Now this is uh, Lock Series number four, and it's the uh, Dibble IPA. Um, if you're not familiar with the Lock Series from Big Ditch, it's a series of of IPAs, all with the you know the theme of the Erie Canal. You know what I mean? We had Packet, we had FIP, we had 363, we have Dibble, and uh, it, there's a nice write up on the back of the can, Dibble. Uh, is the fourth beer in the series. It's named after the Lockport Canal engineer, full name Orange Orange Dibble, who invented a horse-drawn crane for removing debris out of the Erie Canal during its excavation. This beer brewed with Hallertau Blanc, Amarillo, and Simcoe hops features an upfront up blast of orange and grapefruit aromas and flavors with just a slight hint of bitterness and a slight earthy and floral finish and uh, from a little press release that I got from uh, online as well they said that um, that this beer used a new uh, strain of yeast called London Ale the third which also contributed to some of those earthy and floral notes uh, along the tropical citrus profile so you know it's uh they're all kind of, uh, they all kind of have a similar sort of hop profile, but they all sor sort of uh, stand out in different ways as they're brewed. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And I figured I, I wasn't really planning on making a video today, but that's the way the world works sometimes, especially when you get a fresh batch of dibble being loaded into the refrigerator right in front of your eyes. Anyway, let's take a look at this. Um, I grabbed the first batch when it first came out. I was there on release day um, and I, I really didn't have any self-control. They all kind of, uh, they got drank way faster than I was able to um, put them on the video. But again, this is the Big Ditch Dibble Lock Series number four IPA. It was a little on the aggressive side, but again, I mean, look at this thing. It's all sorts of wonderfully dark and complex golden yellow uh you know the big ditch likes to use the term uh orange marmalade and man that's not far off just from the uh the appearance alone i'm getting ever so uh, uh slight uh appearance of floaters in there but it's really hard to, to tell because it's that hazy mm. Sorry, my mouth is watering. Uh, great looking head and, um, you know, aggressive aroma, you know? I dig the aggressive aromas. Whew, man. Orange and orange and uh, just a supporting role with the, with the grapefruit. Hmm. Yeah, I can get some, some floraliness to it as along the way as well. Do you know what I mean? Wow, ever so dark um, sort of of twist to the aroma. It smells great though, man. It looks it looks awesome. It smells awesome. What does this thing taste like? You know? Hmm. Wicked. <laughs> Wow. So I think that that really concentrated sort of orange, orange marmalade. Uh, you can, it's, it's not, uh, it's not occult as to how they got these sort of uh, naming um, schemes. You know what I mean? Hmm. So yeah, nice, nice, not super, you know, dripping wet, juicy hoppiness, but a nicely presented hoppiness. 
lots of orange or and or tangerine and then just ever so slight amounts of the grapefruit honestly i get a lot of the earthy and floral notes along the way mixed in with the citrus it's not one or the other they kind of seem to co-mingle along the whole way they talk about a like a muted sort of of bitterness to it i agree with that there's there doesn't really seem to be any bitterness to it um there might there might be a, a little bit of a of um inclination that they want to be but it's not bitter at all mm. what's the abv on this i never told you guys that 6.3 abv and i'll throw the uh ibus down there uh down below if i when i get it but um yeah 6.3 i could kind of see I think it's right on the money ABV wise. Um, you're not going to be su uh, su surprised by it's not light, it's not heavy. Um, it's really easy to drink. Uh, it's even more enjoyable to sip though. It, it's just, it's really nice. It's a sipper. I'm not getting any aftertaste. Um, yeah, fruity nice hoppy uh kind of characteristics all the way through um tropical citrus absolutely orange marmalade and spice yes 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 uh the spiciness to it i'm not getting much on the spice notes um maybe the that sort of darker uh twist on the aromas and the flavors maybe that's the spice that they're talking about uh i could play ball with that absolutely all day so guys, this is uh, a little look at the Dibble from Big Ditch. And it's the, uh, part of their Lock Series IPAs. And this is number four. Uh, today is Saturday the 26th, I believe. Uh, so if you think, you know, you'd uh, dig a fresh batch of Dibble, uh, head down there. And, and, and I honestly have noticed that the prices are a little bit uh, cheaper too. Maybe skipping the middleman and stuff like that. So... Get downtown, you know, support our local breweries, pick it up right from the source, super fresh, and uh, enjoyed, you know, as soon as possible. That's it. That's how we do it. So, thanks for watching. Leave me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.